seven-month follow-up shows the range of motion in the ankle and subtalar joints. The patient does have some limitations in plantar flexion and dorsiflexion compared to the non-amputated side. He is able to walk limited distances in a barefoot fashion. He still has some hypersensitivity and pain over the distal end of the amputation site. The first postoperative prosthetic device is fashioned in the style of a Charcot restraint orthotic walker. This partial foot prosthesis looks a bit like a Herman Munster boot. It is designed to totally protect the foot and lock out the ankle motion during early ambulation. On the inner surface, it is lined with P-Lite foam. Foam can be added to take up for the volume loss of the foot. The swelling following partial foot amputation necessitates the use of this type of device in the first four to eight months. It is rare that a partial foot amputation will fit into a smaller device and into a more regular shoe until months six to eight.